Honey. She frolicked and say. <laughs> We're trying to stay where it's halfway quiet so we can have a little meeting here. So we are on our way home, finally. <laughs> <laughs> yep, getting ready to take some home time. And this this home time is not like all of our home times. This is when we get to do things like go to the dentist or go to the doctor, go down and renew our tags. Fun stuff that you don't have time to do or just aren't able to do while you're out on the road. There's a few other little things we're going to show you in this video about what we normally don't do <laughs> on home time. We've got a few little things we had to go take care of. That uh, our, our home time is like most people think it would be. Doing laundry, we've got to catch back up on that. Clean the truck back out and basically just get everything ready to go again back out on the road. This week we made plans and then changed those plans and changed them again and changed them again, but in the long run it ended up being worth it. We took a little bit of a road trip, you'll get to see that, and we had some um, some issues that needed to be taken care of and you'll get caught up on all of that as well. Yeah. But, you know, for the most part, we kick back, relax, have a beer once in a while when we're at home. I usually take a motorcycle trip, whether it's one day or a weekend trip. Sometimes she goes with me, sometimes she stays at home, just kind of depends. Depends on his mood. Sometimes you just need some alone time. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I need him to have some alone time. <laughs> you know, weather permitting, it's motorcycle riding or hunting and fishing or camping or whatever, but you know, with winter fast approaching, the, the motorcycle and camping's probably got to take a back seat, so. Although we are planning at least one, one bike camping trip before the end of this year. So cross your fingers, everybody, that the weather holds out and we're actually able to do it. Yeah, we got a, got a few items we got to test out for next year, so looking forward to that. So. Oh yeah, stay tuned for the big surprise at the end of this video. we'd bring you along for the trials and tribulations and adventures of being in the truck um, our refrigerator for the second time crapped out but this is my experience with <laughs> trying to get a warranty repair done and it's much more difficult for us in the truck because we can't just call someplace, have them come pick it up, or take it someplace to have it fixed because it just doesn't work that way. We got very, very fortunate that this time on our way home for home time was when it crapped out. So we bought the unit at Lowe's. I called Lowe's. Um, it's been more than 30 days, so they won't take a return. Totally understandable, typical store policy. Not mad, tell me what I can do. So they give me the number to the Frigidaire repair line. So I call that 800 number and go through all the automated bull crap and get a local repair shop. There were two that were about 40 miles from our house in opposite directions and then the next nearest one is two states away. So we chose the one that's here and 
started making phone calls. It was on Saturday, so not surprisingly, business is closed. Okay, so I waited until this morning, Monday morning, and I call back and nobody answers. So I call back and nobody answers. And I leave voicemails, call them repeatedly, nobody answers. So we load the unit up into our truck. We've got errands to run today that take us to the town where the repair shop's at. And we head out. We come over here to the town. I decide we're just gonna go by the repair shop, knock on the door, say, hey, we need to have this fixed. The address is literally to someone's house. There's no signage saying that this is what they do in their garage. It's just a house. And I'm not comfortable leaving my unit at someone's house without having at least spoken to someone first. So we leave that house and we go to the local Lowe's here in town. And I go in, I've got my receipt and all my stuff and I'm really, really frustrated because I've been trying to get a hold of both of the repair places for hours now with no result. Give them my sob story. Please help me. <laughs> this is a borderline emergency for me. And they took it back and gave me our money back in cash so that we could go to a different Lowe's and repurchase the same unit because they didn't have any in stock. Lowe's for the win. So thumbs up to those people <laughs> at Lowe's. Yes. Big thumbs up. Thank you, Lowe's. So now we're headed to another city, just a few miles away, to another Lowe's to pick up another unit. So I said we weren't going to get a new refrigerator today. Turns out I was wrong. We are. And I'm okay with that. So thank you, Lowe's. You made my Monday so much better. back home in the little clip you just seen of us heading north to go after this little item it's the next day we got back this morning about 3 a.m. and I had to get some sleep so we're good to go now let me uh, spin around here a little bit keep you in suspense show you what we got trailer to pull behind my motorcycle. It's going to be a game changer when it comes to going camping and making long road trips with it. So, there's the camper, or the uh, camper. There's the trailer. And this is what pulls that thing. It's the 2014 Cross Country Victory. 1732 cc. Cruise control, radio, it's pretty nice. Got my Coast Guard sticker on there. We'll talk more about that some other time. That's my little buddy. Call him Road Rage. We do have a big motorcycle trip planned for next year. But we'll talk about that more later too. So There we go. So yeah, that was a little surprise we had. So hopefully uh, get some videos done up here before too long. I know Vanya's got a, got one ready to drop, but obviously it's probably gonna be several days before that happens, but uh, stick with us. So far with the videos we got in the Facebook page, hope you're liking what you're seeing. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. So until next time, See you, bye. bye.